why do you make videos on Nikon? You're like the only YouTuber on the planet who uses Nikon for video. And it's a two-part answer. YouTube, good morning. Less than ideal conditions today. It's a little bit disgusting out, it's raining. Y'all know that used to be my favorite photo conditions. I used to always talk about how I loved rainy days and I hated sunny days. I'm kind of the opposite now. I prefer sunny days for the type of stuff that I make photos of and less of this, but it's not gonna hold me back. I'm kind of excited to make photos in less than ideal conditions. Go back to my roots, make some nice desaturated greens, some moody photos today. It actually could be pretty dope. So we're gonna get out and make some photos and y'all know the drill before we do that, we gotta hit a workout today. I recorded yesterday's workout because I normally don't wear a shirt when I do mine in the garage and I don't need you passing out, hitting your head on the keyboard and injuring yourself when you see this Adonis of physique I got going. <laughs> Oh my God, that was a whole lot of fun. Reason I recorded yesterday's and not today's is because today was all leg stuff. 100 squats, 100 stiff leg deadlift, 100 push-ups, and then like some kettlebell stuff. But yo, check this out. Three, two, one. Finally, got some stuff up on the walls right here. We moved in this house about a year ago, but just have been really strategic with how we're getting furniture. The last house, we bought a bunch of like stuff from Ikea just to fill the house up, which works really good for your first house, but you end up kind of just slowly getting rid of that stuff and it seems like you spend more money in the long run. So we've slowly been building it up. Glad to have that. We gotta hang that painting later today. All right, so y'all already know what it is. Peanut butter and jelly for breakfast. Technically it's lunch though. That furniture delivery kind of messed up the timeline of my day. Yo, check this out. I wasn't gonna show you all this because it's a giveaway for the Patreon. I knew about these, but I didn't know when I got it that it was gonna feel like there's nothing inside the box. Open it up. This is a tripod. This thing weighs nothing. I mean, check that out right there. Look how dope that is. Carbon fiber, throw that up on your desk, looking fancy. So if my day can go perfectly according to plan, there's a bunch of photos we're gonna make. The first location is about 45 minutes away. It's a place I've been to before, but not on the YouTube channel. I wanna try kind of a different perspective there for this book project I'm working on. Also, we gotta do some project shots of some brand new stickers that are part of a top secret project that I might not tell you about today, I might tell you about at the end of the episode. It's top secret. So the first stop in today's video is this town called Gainesville. Now I've never been here before, but when me and Chris were driving out to Delonigo, we drove through this town and I thought, yo, this would be a good place to stop at. There's one photo down the street I wanna check out, but I'm actually surprised at how much other stuff there is around here too. So I wanna come back here at night because I think that's when it's gonna be best in a separate video, but I'm still gonna just check it out really quick while we're over here. The mask life is the life for me. So I wanna stay here longer, I wish I could, but I gotta stick to the plan. The boy is getting too all over the place lately in these videos. I'm rushing, it takes me forever to drive to these places. Sticking to the plan. But I'm filming today on the Nikon D780. And I would say one of the most popular questions I get on this channel is, why do you make videos on Nikon? You're like the only YouTuber on the planet who uses Nikon for video. And it's a two part answer. Part one is you're kinda of right. If you just found the channel today, it makes absolutely no sense, but it used to make a whole lot of sense only like four or five months ago. Yo, I know it's a really weird reference, but where we just were, all those alleys with all the power lines and like the white walls reminded me a lot of Miami. Super random, I know. You wouldn't be expecting to get Miami vibes in the middle of like rural North Georgia town, but it was there.
Yeah, buddy. So that photo right there is the reason I drove out here. As soon as I saw that when I was out with Chris going to Dahlonega, I knew I had to get back here as soon as possible. It might get torn down the pink with the Coke sign. It's very old looking and it looks like a piece of history. So I had to make sure that I got it. And to make this drive worth it, we have one more location we're gonna go to. It's called Talmo. It's 18 minutes away, 11 miles. Let's get it. All right, well, you remember how this morning it was raining and I was like, hey, this is gonna be perfect. Clearly it's not raining. Last time I was here, the weather was the exact same as this. So I'm still gonna try and make some photos, but I don't know what it's really gonna be because I already have images from here. I mean, while we're out here, let's go ahead and answer the rest of this Nikon question. Why am I the only YouTuber? Well, there's gotta be other ones, but one of the only YouTubers who really uses Nikon cameras for video. And the answer is pretty simple, but kind of complex. And it's the fact that pre-pandemic earlier this year, I mean, the people who followed the channel a long time know this, I was doing photography as my main job. YouTube was not my main job. I wasn't a YouTuber. This pandemic has kind of forced me into that and I've adjusted into it. But had that been what I was gonna do this entire time, like if I woke up one day and said, I'm gonna be a YouTuber and make YouTube videos, I probably wouldn't be using the Nikon camera. The reason I was using it was because when I would go work with clients, when I would do events, when I would do product photography, as much as I love my Leica and I use it all the time in these videos, that's not really a camera for those things as much. I did use it for work, but I liked to have something that I could use for all my freelance stuff. And that was the Nikon camera right here. So it's one of these weird things where now that I've adapted and shifted, I don't know if I would be using it. but. I'm kind of here anyways. I have all the Nikon gear that I've accumulated over the last few years and I haven't gotten rid of it. But the longer that the pandemic continues and the longer that I'm not a freelance photographer and more of just an artist with a YouTube channel, I'm considering moving some things around. It would make a whole lot of sense. But for anyone who's ever wondered and you know come across the channel, been like, why the hell does this guy use Nikon? There's, there's your answer because it, it made sense six months ago. That looks promising. So much for me going running. I tell you what. If I had one X-Men skill, it would be to be able to control the weather because I went out to that Talmo place hoping it would rain. I even brought this Windex so I could spray it on the window if I needed to create some fake raindrops. No rain, and now it's gonna rain, but whatever. We'll just go back there in another video and get that shot. I wanted to get the Texaco sign and the gas station through like a rain-covered window, and even if it was cloudy like this, I could still cheat a little bit with the Windex, but obviously it was sunny. Yeah. Today went really good. Today was a fun photography day. I really gotta figure out this whole camera thing though. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be back to being like a professional photographer who does this as my job. I might be a YouTube artist for a lot longer than I was anticipating. So I don't know. Like a SL2 looks really interesting. M10 I love, but then I'd be in the same predicament I'm in now where I have a photo camera and a video camera. SL2 could potentially be a video camera and also a photo camera. Some things to think about here. But it is really weird even considering spending money on camera stuff during a pandemic. So I'm kind of just sitting it out, been hoarding all my cash. That's gonna be a video I talk about in another video. But um, yeah, we got one more thing to do today before the day is technically done. I wanted to go running, we'll see but I still gotta do those product shots. I still gotta tell you what that is, but let me, let me get these photos first. All right, rain stop, got my run in. Quick three miler tonight. Gotta get home and chill, that's the video. Hit a thumbs up, subscribe, hope you all enjoyed this one. I still don't know what I'm doing with this whole YouTube full-time thing. I'm gonna figure it out though. At the end of the day, I always wanted to be about creativity, even when we're talking about gear and cameras and you know, all that stuff that 
gets people to come to the channel. I still, at the end of the day, want it to be about creating and not just about talking about using something to do the thing that everyone wants to do. Just be an artist and be creative. So, love y'all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.